27 points, 12 rebounds for Megan Gustafson as Iowa wins big 79 to 61. And with that, we head to Greensboro, North Carolina, where Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso joins us live with more. Adam. Yeah, Dan, you know, other than that three minute stretch in the third quarter, the Hawkeyes total domination today against NC State. Pretty good time to do it in the Sweet 16. All the pressure, all everything riding on this, and they come out with a great performance. One win away from the Final Four now. The first Sweet 16, or Elite Eight rather, since 1993. Another historic achievement for this group of women who really just don't want this ride to end. You know, there's nothing like it right now, and we just want to keep this going as, as long as possible, and it's been a magical season, and I'm just so excited that, you know, I can share this with Hannah and Tania. It's so exciting. I mean, we worked just, we worked so hard all year, and it's just paying off at the right time, and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with another group of girls. It's just an awesome team to be a part of. I feel really blessed. It's everything that I've wanted in my college journey, so to be able to be going to the Elite Eight with this group, this coaching staff, um, it's nothing short of amazing. You always want to go one step farther than you have before. You always want to do better. Uh, and today we want one, one more step, but we're not done yet. We want to keep going. We want to keep this rolling and why not, right? We're one step away from the final four, so why not? Ecstatic locker room to say the least. Lisa Bluter and the Hawkeyes, they all say after the game they're playing their best basketball of the season. It definitely looked like that against the Wolfpack. Just a great team display of basketball. Megan Gustafson, you said 27 points, 12 boards, but it really was a supporting cast showing that this Hawk squad is so much more than the one person show. I think by now we've seen so many different ways for people to try to defend Megan and try to defend that action. and. Our team is so good at making reads now. They, they know exactly what to do. We had 24 assists today. Uh, so I think it's just really kind of the experience and playing together, Han and Megan and all of our guards making those reads as well. To be honest, we don't really care who scores the ball. Um, so as long as the ball goes in a hole and, you know, it was going in for all of us today. You know, I feel like NC State, they were trying to take away different options, mix up their defense a little bit. You know, we just kind of picked it apart. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of having a player like Megan. You put teams into situations where they have to continuously change their defense and we were making them pay for it. Um, yeah, they played us every which way, but uh, it worked out that we had options for everything they threw at us. I'm just so proud of our heart. We played with so much of that, and we played together as a team, as a family, and it's amazing to be able to show show the entire nation what Iowa basketball is all about. You know, people didn't really know much about us, but now they do. We've turned heads, and we're going to keep turning heads from here on out. All five of Iowa's starters, nine points or more. Hannah Stewart joining Gustafson with a double-double of her own, 16 and 10. Iowa now with a shot at top-seeded Baylor. The Bears looking very good today in the second game here in Greensboro. 93-68 winners over South Carolina, but it only takes one more victory. One of those two teams will advance to Tampa and the women's Final Four. Reporting live from Greensboro, Adam Rosso, Local 4 Sports. Dan, let's send it back to you. Awesome stuff, Adam. Thank you so much for the coverage. We'll be looking forward to that, obviously, going into the rest of the weekend and beyond. Well, still to come.